I told y'all, take two. We're gonna hope that I can be as consistent as this is starting off to be, but let's start. Uh, so, the next song that was on my heart yesterday, um, and I'm gonna plan them out, like I'm gonna go through, and not necessarily put them in order, but depending on where I am in life, like, that's what song I'm gonna choose next. But I do know what song's coming right after this one, and then from then on, it'll be like, you know, it'll go with the flow of life. Uh, so this one is Not Lucky, I'm Loved. And I think this one was on my heart yesterday because when things go right for me, I think, I believe a misconception that some people have is that, that it just, I'm lucky or this blessing just fell into my lap. Um, but this song always can bring me back to the real reason why things go right. I'm not lucky, I'm loved. And that love, this song talks about being loved by God, but like I'm loved by so many, well, <laughs> correction, redaction. <laughs> I'm loved by God, the people in my life, uh, people who, who, who meet me and see my heart. All of the love that I receive from God first and then my family and then strangers legitimately makes me feel like I'm not lucky. I've just been loved to this point. So while I'm rambling for a minute and 42 seconds, that's not where my blessings are. Not the sky, not chance, but truth is. Okay. So that, I don't get, so that I don't get in trouble for using these songs. I'm gonna try to keep it to less than 15 seconds because I think that's the rule at a time. But then, so this next part, um, and I'm using Apple Music's like lyrics thing. It says, let's see. But it says, today I'm in a happy place and I know it didn't happen by mistake. I'm not gonna accidentally start singing. Um, happy place, it didn't happen by mistake. I love how he wrote my heart, wrote my life. I love how he sees my heart. So I fall to the knees and I say that I'm grateful when every morning starts. <laughs> I'm gonna read it like a poem because that's how it needs to come out because I don't sing, only by myself. Um, so I don't thank my lucky stars because that's not where my blessings are. It's funny because I'll say the universe, I'll say karma, I'll say all those different things, luck, you know, but that's not where it really comes from. And I truly believe God works all of our lives together and like to go super deep, I promise I'll come right back out of the deep end. I'm not lucky like I if you ask me of all the crazy crap that's happened in my life and that's still happening in my life I don't feel lucky um yes there are blessings yes there are times when I'm like oh my god this is great but if I sum up my life I would not say that it is pure luck by any stretch of the imagination if you know me you know I was raped in college I don't think that I was lucky to have, you know, made it through that. God loved me through a situation that I wish he would have not allowed to happen, but we're not going to go that far today. <laughs> but uh, I do believe that God loved me through the worst times of my life. And it's no, it's not luck um, by any stretch of the imagination. He said something else. Let me see. Okay, that's not the part that I was thinking about. Let me, let me find forward. Oh, now this part. <laughs> the, um, the, the, the little kid from, um, church Bible study, church Bible school. This nurse, well, I want to say it's a nursery room. I can't think of what it's called, but, um. I don't know what to call it. I probably should look that up, but I didn't. Okay, I got a password. 
Okay. Anyway, okay, let me not get in trouble for this. I'm not trying to have John nothing Mick Reynolds as people on me. Um so yeah, like this song just sums up where I am right now is that I hope you didn't hear my stomach growl just now, but it sums up that no, I don't believe that like I'm lucky. I'm loved legitimately. Like I'm not lucky, I'm loved. Like I don't thank luck for for where I've gotten in this week alone. <laughs> Literally this week that John that John Grant interview stumbled upon me. <laughs> it was through a relationship that I built with his wife. His wife began to trust me as I hoped she would, that I wasn't liking her posts or messaging her or telling her stuff because I wanted anything from her. I just felt led to love on her. And then she began to trust me. And from there, I guess what, I don't know what happened within them, but they said, we trust you to do this story and to allow God to lead how it goes. And the journalist in me, the nosy person in me, knew that the flesh side of me, to get it super spiritual, but like the human part of me is like, oh, this is big. And oh, I've seen the headlines. And oh, I've seen the gossip. But the spiritual side of me knew that this was heavy. Them saying, God told me to trust you was big. And to know that their story is easily tabloidy easily turned into gossip easily turned into gossip we know but there's a spiritual aspect to everything that he went through and I hope I hope the whole John Gray interview makes it up on YouTube soon that's all up to me I need to finish that so that I, so my boss can watch it and then so that it can make it onto the onto YouTube but I really really hope that when you watch it you see the pain that he's gone through and it, and this is a tangent, not, not even on this thing, but through that and through what I've gone through in the last two years, it made me have a better respect for what he's going through, the healing journey he's on, starting therapy. I started therapy recently too, and it gave me a better respect for who he is as a pastor, as a husband, as a father, as a human as a Christian gave me a better respect for where he is in life and the pain that he's caused and the pain that he's endured before causing the pain so like you know that cycle of pain anyway so I say I like to say like this that experience this week it felt like people were saying oh my god like that's so great that you got that oh my god and I'm like yeah I'm not lucky I'm loved and like, God loved me enough to evolve me as a journalist to get me to that point where I got my first big major exclusive mom. My mom was like, first exclusive interview. I'm like, no, sometimes people talk to me exclusively. They live in my city. They talk to me exclusively. This wasn't my first exclusive mom. But it was a first major nationally cared about exclusive interviews I think if I'm thinking back correctly it's been almost seven years so it's been a lot of stories told over that time so in wrapping this up because yesterday I wanted it to end at 10 minutes it ended at 12 let's see if we can end it at 10 now um so I'm not lucky I'm loved so if you see any of my wins know that there are as many losses if not more so I'm not lucky I'm loved. I was loved through the worst part of my life and I'm being loved through this season of my life and that is the only reason I have anything I have. Period. Um, second, I feel like there was something else and I forgot it just that fast. Um, oh, the story in this whole effort is finding stories in almost any song that I add to my Worship 2.0 playlist. 
and I literally find a story in almost anything. So that's the goal of this is to share the story that I found in the song, in the season that I'm in. Share it with y'all. Because somebody told me y'all care. <laughs> I didn't think y'all care, but I'm here telling it. This lash is really irritating me, but it's fine. It's cool. I hope that you...